Prescott Van Meyer III sommelier from home. Today is a departure from our regular format. I am performing a complete and total blind taste test on this liquor, Santa Clara. I actually have no idea what it is. Of course, we're all familiar with Santa Clara as she grew up in Assisi, born there in 1184. And as you know, St. Francis of Assisi, the patron saint of animals and ecology, he was born in 1181 perhaps 1182, and she actually was a follower of him. Now, what did Santa Clara actually become famous for? Well, she started up an order, the Poor Sisters of Santa Clara, and she practiced joyful poverty. Boy, that's something me and Santa Clara have in common. <laughs> joyful poverty, the complete lack of money, and yet still finding joy in that. Well, I am excited to try this. It looks very buttery, very creamy, very thick. When I tip it upside down, no air bubbles go anywhere. Now it says that once you open this up, you can leave it unrefrigerated. So it makes me a little nervous after the bottle has been opened, needs no refrigeration. It's not a double negative, so doesn't have to be put in the fridge. Pretty simple bottle. We got Santa Clara just ordained on the front and uh, I'll be honest, she looks hot. I really have no idea what this tastes like. It looks like honey mustard. That might be what it tastes like. I'm not sure. Looks very custardy, very thick. So you can see that film around the glass. Boy, lots of cream in there. Mm. This looks very rich indeed. I was, was a joke about Santa Clara and her forced poverty because the drink looks rich, but she was so poor. But here we go. Well, let's give it a smell first. It smells like scrambled eggs. It smells like scrambled eggs and sweetened condensed milk that were sitting next to some vanilla pudding. The smell kind of trickled over a little bit. Not a very pungent aroma. Very mild, but still getting a lot of scrambled eggs. Okay, so here we go. Blind taste test. Scrambled eggs. Very thick in the mouth. The scrambled eggs flavor really coming through. Like you made some scrambled eggs and then you just poured some, some sugar and some vanilla on top of it. Not the good vanilla, the imitation vanilla, the fake vanilla. Might even say the poor person's vanilla. So that checks out. Santa Clara would be proud. Ooh, that was tough to swish around. Based on that flavor profile, if I was marketing this, I would maybe slap a French toast base on it, you know? Take some brioche, some day old sourdough bread, dip that in there. Make yourself a tower of French toast. Actually sounds pretty good. Um, but an interesting, interesting development certainly makes me want to say a prayer. <laughs> well, let's swish it around one more time. Mm. Mm -hmm. Cramping. <laughs> that is thick. Ooh. Jaw cramping with the working it. Kind of like an instant pudding that you might get, or the pudding you get in those big cans at Costco. You've seen them. Big gallon sized tin cans of pudding. It's weird. I don't know. It's weird. The pudding and the drink. Who would be drinking this? Well, perhaps wealthy but weary travelers on the road passing through Assisi on their way to the Vatican to get favor with the current Pope. They drop off at a tavern, long day's journey, and what do they get? They get some Santa Clara, a little bit of an indulgence, which they will owe the Pope for later. Gotta buy those off. The Pope actually asked Santa Clara to stop being so poor because, you know, the Vatican was gaining so much wealth, and she just decided to kind of double down. Really nice, interesting situation where a woman told the Pope to go f himself. Who else would be drinking this? I would say bodybuilders. I'm 100% sure there's a lot of raw egg in there. So have at it. 
Am I sure that's the case? I'm not. I don't know what's in this thing. Who else would be drinking this? Catholic grandmothers who go light a candle and go to confession at least twice a week and bore the priest to tears with their confessions. Watching The Bachelor is not a sin. What you do later in the bed by yourself, also not really a sin anymore. Well, since this is a blind taste test, I'm still gonna give it a rating. At 12% alcohol, this is sort of a weird concoction, one that you uh, must really, really love to enjoy it. For myself, I'm giving it a rating of 32. If you like these blind taste tests, well, make sure you comment below so that Dalton can get some ideas of what to bring me. And for those that commented they are leaving this bloated corpse of a channel, I just want to say I see your comments and I appreciate your support. Thus far, we are going to miss you. Just head to pv3merch.com on your way out the door. Or send me a request on Cameo. I will debase myself for the fee.